We are talking about saving your money and finding toys that grow with your child. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and oh, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already and would like to, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos. I do educational activities for children, plus ideas and inspirations to learn through play and maybe a haul mixed in between. You guys have asked me this question before and I thought I'd do a whole video on it and that is how do you find and select toys that grow with your child? So I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas that I look for when I'm looking for toys at the toy store. So when I'm looking at toys that are gonna grow with my child, I consider basically three different things. The first is, is this toy gonna to be a multiple purpose item for different ages of my kid? You can see this in items such as a toy kitchen. For a toddler, a toy kitchen is just a place to dump and spill things out of, store them into the little compartments, act like mom and dad at the kitchen. As it grows into a preschooler age, they are actually cooking food for you and cooking bre breakfast and mimicking exactly what you do as a parent and as you usher in to the kindergarten age and older it becomes more complex play it's role-playing it's math skills and dividing things up it's taking your order and cooking you what you like or going to the grocery store to get food and bringing it back into the kitchen and beyond that a second and third grader you can use toy kitchen supplies and the learning mathematics skills in food groups and healthy eating, really complex subjects that you might not have considered when you bought this for your child when they were two. The same thing goes for art supplies. A toddler is gonna definitely use paint in a different way than a six, seven, eight, or even a 12 year old would. So if you can stock up on spend some money on some really great durable supplies, you're gonna be setting your child up for a lifetime of growth using those tools. Another factor I look at is, will the toy grow with how they develop? Two great categories that do this are strategy games and books. Books are great because you can start them as early as an infant in reading them, letting them see the pictures and the different contrasting ink colors on the page. As you get older, you can have them pick out colors on the page, pick out letters when they start to learn the phonetic sounds. Eventually, they'll be reading the words, looking at the pictures, and then we'll get into more complex comprehension. What happened in the story? What do you think is gonna happen next? A book is definitely one of those things that's gonna grow with your child all through stages of their life, all the way to adult. The same thing goes with strategy games. As your child develops mentally, so will their strategic skills in conquering a game. Even a classic game like checkers can last from preschool age on up through adult. Same thing with chess and backgammon. The strategy piece is key and will develop over time. And then lastly, I ask myself, is this a classic? Usually classic toys, they're gonna last you a long time. I consider classic toys to be blocks and building sets in whatever shape or form they are. Are. It could be your wooden blocks, your Legos, your Magformers, your Tinker Toys. All of those kinds of things are classic and they pack a lot of punch for all ages. A toddler will start stacking blocks one on top of the other, a great fine motor skill. Then they'll begin toppling them over and laughing as they fall. Next, you'll see more complex castles and towers as they build with the blocks and then developing into imagination. So pretending that a block is now a chair. You get into the school age and you can use blocks for building more complex castles and for STEM activities. Can you create a structure that is taller than the doll? Solidify engineering through all ages and are definitely worth an investment and they will grow with your child. And the good thing about classic toys is that you can find them in a variety of different styles and a price points. Something like this bucket of blocks that I got from Fisher Price for under $10 is a steal or even Ikea's little tray of blocks. If you're looking for a little bit of variety, the magnetic blocks are a lot of fun like these magformers or even these tegu blocks. We love them all and play with them often. If you have any ideas and tips for finding toys that grow with your children, leave them down below in the comments. I always love reading what you have to say, plus other people can come and read them too. Lots of ideas and inspirations happening down there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.